It's the TV. Watch what's on TV, yes. Something new? Let's have a look. <gasps> okay. No, I hate that. <laughs> I do not like that at all. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Hello, and welcome to Escaped Chasm by Temi. Now, this is a small RPG maker game about a lonely girl who has a mysterious connection to another world through her dreams. And after every nap, the real world around her begins to change and unravel. Now I believe this game is a prelude to another game called Dweller's Path, which I actually found first and really want to play, but I thought that I'd better play this one beforehand. But this one was also uh, a lot of fun, so sit back, relax and enjoy it, and after this I will be playing Dweller's Path, which is the sequel to this. Alright, see you later, enjoy. Alright, let's start. Okay. Hmm. Play opening movie, alright. How about the rest of the movies? Yes, please. We're not missing out on these movies. We're going to see them all. Ooh. Sometimes when I close my eyes, when I let my mind drift, I can feel a world beyond my own. It's vast and beautiful. I can see through the eyes of a girl I admire. However, as my consciousness slips back to me, I remember that this euphoric dream is not real. Oh wow. As I awaken, my connection to that world slowly fades from my memory. I won't let that world escape me. I will hold onto these fragments of my dreams in any way I can. Maybe I can never truly reach that world. Damn, okay, that was awesome, but maybe one day I can still become the girl I see in that place. Lonely girl's room. I think I'm done drawing for the day. I wonder where my mum and dad could be. Alright, okay, let's look at these drawings. Beautiful, well done. A lot of drawings of your imaginings, and a world you wished you lived in. Your skill is nowhere where you want it to be yet, but you're still proud of what you've made. Good, be proud. What's that, a whip? A snake? Melody looks sickly. He refuses to eat. What should I do? Hmm. What's this? It's a pile of clothes ready to be washed. And this? Ah. <laughs> Self-portrait picture frame that holds a photo of a younger you. Memories. This? Oh, desk. It's your diary. What would you like to do? Oh, read today's entry. Quit game, close diary. Let's read today's entry. They aren't back today either. When will mum and dad come home? I'm really lonely. Melody isn't doing so well. He won't need anything for some reason. To pass the time, I've been imagining stories that have become so vivid, I nearly forget reality. In these stories, I'm who I always wanted to be. Brave, strong, unafraid. Living freely and living in a forest of wonders. The world of my dreams. I even have friends. But at the end of these imaginings, I have to remember that world isn't real. At the end of the day, I have to remember I'm just me. The me who was pathetic. The me who was cowardly. The me who was alone. I'm kind of tired. I like to rest a bit. Didn't we just wake up? It's your garbage can. There's a lot of crumpled up papers full of sketches you don't like. Well, okay. Window? No. Uh, we wanted to rest, but uh, we can try resting. Let's try. It's your bed. Would you like to go to sleep? No, not yet. I want to go outside. Let's have a look. Okay. A vase. It's a family photo of you and your parents. A photo of another member of your family. You met them when you were very young, so you don't remember who they are. It's your parents' room. I shouldn't go in. Okay. Rug. Downstairs. Downstairs. Beautiful. A painting of flowers. A potted plant. I can't sprint. Phone. Maybe I should try calling my parents. Ringing. No answer. Oh. Beautiful again. A painting of mountains. Go to the right. Let's have a look. Okay, living room. TV. It's the TV. It seems like a cartoon is about to start. Do you want to watch it? Yes. 
Another animation? Oh, this is so cool! Your efforts are futile. You weaklings cannot defeat me. Surrender and accept your fate. Ha 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 ha. At this rate, we're done for. Unless... I'm going to use my power. What? No, it's too dangerous. There's no other way. Whatever you're trying, you stand no chance against me. We'll see about that. Grunting. Holy crap. Posing this risky hidden power. Do our heroes stand a chance? Oh, that's like the commentator. Tune in next time to find out. That was so cool. <laughs> you are in awe. You love this show. That was actually really awesome. I love the animations. Cool. Doghouse. A painting of a sunset. Another base. The time. Cannot look at the time. A comfortable couch. A reclining chair. The classic recliner and double couch combo. The bathroom. The shower curtain. You accidentally rip it a lot. What? Oh, you accidentally rip it a lot. <laughs> the bathroom sink. Bathroom flavored garbage can. Garbage can. The toilet. Gabagool. Toilet paper. Okay. Or mirror. The bathroom sink. I probably already looked at that. I always look at mirrors in RPG games. I feel like there's always something going on there. Alright, let's go to the left and then I'll go down and then up the stairs or down the stairs. Kitchen. Cutting board. It's the oven. It's a little scary. There's paintings over the oven. Do you want to take a look? Yes. Dog. Painting of a dog at the beach. Silhouette of a dog. The kitchen sink, it's clogged up a bit. Refrigerator, it's fully stocked, but it's hard to decide what to eat. Potted plant, what's this? Fax machine? The radio. Plays a lot of old music. Okay. Uh table with like a bench seat? The kitchen chair bench. Very nice. Uh drawers. Cabinet that holds various spices and ingredients. Alright. Spicy. Okay, down. I don't want to go outside yet. Okay. I want to write in my diary. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we've got a lot to write about today. It's been a busy day. I'm looking at the house. A broom. Boxes. It's a box. Paper. Some old receipts. Receipts. It's a mirror. Damn. It's you. You look cute today. Despite everything, it's still you. Alright. A washing machine. A dryer. It's a box. The boiler, it's scary looking. Another box. Alright, I think we've seen everything now. An empty tr- Did we look at the trash can? Hold up. Garbage can for lint. Okay, lint can. Separate can for lint. Wild. I usually throw my lint in with the rest of the garbage. Alright, let's write in our diary and go to bed. Alright. It's your diary. What would you like to do? Wait, read today's entry? We've already read that, right? Yeah, we've read that already. Okay, there wasn't an option to write in it. Okay. Let's rest. It's your bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Truly awful day it was today. We're entering the dream world. Is this them leaving or is this me going to school or something? Let's see. Oh. Alright. Okay. So we're not a fan of school, by the looks. How long did I sleep for? I should look around and see if they came back yet. Alright, let's check out diary entry, see if it's different. Read today's entry. I should check and see if my parents are back. Alright, that's today's entry. Let's have a look. Uh, where will we check if they're back? Uh, check the room for them? Parents' room. Maybe I should knock and see if they're back. Knock, knock. 
No response. Guess I should look around. Okay, let's do that. Oh, we didn't look at this earlier. Coat rack. Nothing else. Okay. I'll bet they're in the kitchen if they're back. No. There's paper though. That's new, right? Some bills and papers. Okay, no, it wasn't new. Um... I don't know, we'll go to the right. Oh, wait, did we go in here? Oh yeah, the bathroom. Let's see what's on TV. It's the TV. Watch what's on TV, yes. Something new? Let's have a look. <gasps> okay. No, I hate that. <laughs> I do not like that at all. <laughs> I'm not a fan. You don't feel like watching TV anymore. <laughs> okay, is, are things going to be weird now? Let's have a look. What's up here? Basement. Down here. Okay, nothing. Mirror? It's a mirror. Alright, we look the same. It's you. You look you today. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's try outside. I... Don't want to go outside, I'm guessing. Maybe tomorrow. Alright. Back to the bedroom. Uh, maybe diary time? Let's have a look at the diary. It's your diary. What would you like to do? Read today's entry. I don't have anything to write yet. I should look around some more. Okay, we got more to look at. Oh, th oh the snake. Melody isn't moving anymore. Oh. That sucks. Uh photo again. A picture frame that holds a photo of a younger you. Um, let's look around a bit more. What else are we missing? We looked in the kitchen. We'll try the kitchen again. Um, check the radio. Oh! Okay, that's what we wanted. The radio. It doesn't appear to be working. Alright. The refrigerator's fully stocked, but it's hard to decide what to eat. Feel that. Alright. Things are getting a bit strange around this household. Oh, the phone. Let's try the phone. It's a phone. Maybe I should try calling my parents. Ringing. No answer. Okay. I think that may be enough for bed now. Or for diary entry. Let's have a look. Okay. It's your diary. What would you like to do? Read today's entry. I don't have anything to write yet. I should look around some more. What am I missing? I feel like I've looked at everything. Hmm couch. Wait, I just realized the recliner's facing the, a different direction, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's changed. This is an normal reclining chair. Did they come back and change the chair? That is odd. Okay. Oh, hello. Demon? Who are you? Hmm? Just a visitor. Uh. Okay. Is there anything I can do for you? Not really. I'm just here to observe. Observe. What are you observing? Hmm. I'm just here to see what happens. What happens? What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> oh, we run in. We run in. Where did he... Alright. Uh, outside? Back to bed. I... Maybe tomorrow. Okay. Let's go right in our diary. That was pretty crazy. Today was a bit more eventful. We saw a freaking... Wait. I thought the bedroom door to our parents was a little bit open there. Okay. Let's try the diary. Let's have a look. Let's see what happens. Read today's entry. It was a strange guy in the house today. I couldn't believe my eyes. I wasn't sure if he was real or not. I was a little alarmed at first, but maybe I just imagined him. Melody stopped moving. I think he's sleeping. When will mum and dad come home? I don't know what to do. How do I help him? I'm kind of sleepy. I should take a rest. Alright, let's do it. It's your bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Maybe they'll be back when I wake up. Let's see what we see in our dreams.
Hmm. Were we growing up there? I feel like we might have been. Hmm. Is that the demon we saw earlier? That was an angel. Please help her. Whoa. Please help me. Whoa. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> nice. Another pleasant night's sleep. Okay. Let's look at Melody. Melody isn't moving anymore. Oh, alright. It's your drawer. It's full of clothes your parents bought for you. You don't really have a sense of our fashion yourself. Okay, let's check our diary. It's your diary. What would you like to do? Read today's entry. I should try going outside to look. Oh, we're gonna go outside finally. Alright. Let's see what's in the house first though. Let's check the bedroom. Parents' bedroom. It's your parents' room. Maybe I should knock and see if they're back. Knock, knock, knock. No response. Guess I should look around. Okay. Let's uh, watch the TV again. I wasn't a fan of that eye looking at me earlier. Okay, things are back to normal in here by the looks. You're too afraid to turn on the TV. Actually, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Let's have a look outside. Let's see what we see. Okay. I can do this. Alright. What do we see out here? Oh. Huh? What's... What's happening? Such a wonderful sight. I recommend you turn back. Is it the rapture or something? Huh. He's right. I should go back. We should, we should explore a little bit first. Okay, what was that? What's going on? I, I knew I shouldn't have gone outside. What should I do? What should I do? I'm so scared. Where are mum and dad? Where could they be? Weird. Okay, let's try the phone again. Maybe I should try calling my parents. No answer. Alright. Strange. Alright, back to bed then, I guess. Back to the diary. Alright. Okay. Oh yeah, diary. Diary time. What's your diary, what would you like to do? Read today's entry. I went outside to try and look for mum and dad, and what I saw... My heart was racing. Something's wrong. Everything looks distorted and destroyed. I didn't know what to do. Was what I saw even real? That strange man was there too. He was looking at the chaos and he seemed like he liked it. He told me I should turn back, and then vanished. Who is he? If I see him again, maybe I should ask him where my mum and dad are. What do you know? Where are my mum and dad? Did they get hurt? Do they need my help? I don't know what to do. My mind is racing. I'm so scared. I'm so worried. What should I do? I... I'm tired again for some reason. Why am I so tired? Hmm. Alright, well back to bed. It's your bed. What would you like to do? Would you like to go back to sleep? Yes. I don't know if I should be sleeping, but for some reason I can't keep my eyes open. Will everything be fixed when I wake up? I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit worse. Or maybe a lot worse. The eye! Okay. Interesting. Is that that same guy? Who are you? Creepy. Wait, the ears or eyes? So creepy, I like that. That's awesome. I... I should. No music this time. Melody isn't moving anymore. Hmm. I feel like today may be a massive day. I can't even look at my diary. It's going to take me straight out to see something. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Huh? What's going on? 
What's happening? I need to find mum and dad quick. Let's look at the painting. It's a family photo of you and... Huh? No longer. I should check only as a last resort. I'll come back if they're nowhere else. Okay, let's do that. What's downstairs? Alright. Looks kind of nice. Looks good. Shall we watch TV? It's the TV. It won't turn on. Check the bathroom. Oh. The bathroom sink. The shower curtain. It's destroyed. I swear it wasn't me. I didn't accidentally rip it. Alright, let's go... Oops. Go to here, to the basement. The mirror's cracked. It's a mirror. Hmm. <gasps> Wait, what? Why'd that scare me? It's a mirror. It just looked like us, right? Strange that we had such a reaction to it. Alright, let's go. Oh, look at the phone. Kitchen's looking messed up. Okay. I'm gonna try the phone and then we try outside. The phone is gone. Alright, the phone was stolen. Uh. Do we don't wanna go outside? It's not gonna let us? Okay. I guess we try the parents' bedroom. What are we gonna see in there, I wonder? Okay, I will go in. Oh. Messed up. Huh? Oh, it's so slow. It's gonna be big. I'm gonna read this. An open journal. The previous pages are all torn out, but the last page. This is... Mum's handwriting. If you find this journal, my little star, I'm sorry we couldn't get to tell you one last goodbye. I know you haven't found your confidence yet, but I know deep inside, a strong and brave girl sleeps. I wish we could have been able to see you all grown up. If you find a way out, please move on without us. I think it's too late for us now. I wish with all my heart we can meet again, in another time, another place. Please know we love you very much. Whatever happens to us, we'll never forget you. I'm proud to have been your mother. I'm proud of you, my daughter. What? <laughs> what is going on? This is... It can't be. No. They must still be somewhere. I can still find them. They need my help. I have to... Can I see anything else in here? Let's have a look around. I wonder if we can cross this gap to, like, the bed. I don't think we can. Oh, I can sprint. Oh, we can go this way. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's go back outside. Maybe we... Okay, I have to find them. I'm thinking we have confidence to go outside now. I... Oh. Oi, hello there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess we follow them then. <laughs> What are you doing in my room? Alright, it's you. It's me. You. Do you know where my parents are? Hmm. I think you already know the answer. They're gone. Huh? To a place they can't willingly return from. No. As things are, you'll never see them again. No, I... No, it's... It's not true. They're not gone. They can't be. No. Well... They may be gone from this world, but it isn't too late to save them. Huh? How can that be? I thought you said they were... From this world, yes. There is nothing that can be done. But, if you're willing to take a chance, you may be able to find a way to save them. There is a world beyond this one, that you seem to already be somewhat familiar with. A world that you've depicted in these crude drawings of yours. It seems like, because of her, you've established a link to that world. It wouldn't be very hard to create a path for you there. 
Ooh, okay. There is a world like that? So it really exists. However, in stepping through this path, you can never return to this life. Can you take this step knowing you may never be able to return? If there's a way to save them, then I have no choice. There is a chance that in doing this, you will slowly lose every attachment you have to this world. I figure most of that doesn't bother you. What might upset you is that it includes the memories of your parents. Huh. With this risk in mind, will you take this step? Do you think, even without the memories of this world, you'll be able to save them? I could. Lose the memories of mum and dad? No. These memories, they're my everything. Stay behind, and you can hold onto your memories forever. In an endless abyssal chasm. How? How can I save them if I won't remember them? What sort of options are these? Do you... Do you know why all of this is happening? Do you know what caused all of this? I believe I do. There's an influence from a large and stable power in a world not too far from here. It's likely that's what's causing this world to collapse in on itself. Or perhaps... This world was never stable to begin with. Maybe this world has been unwinding itself from the start. If all of this is happening, why are you here? Why would you come to the decaying world? Curiosity. I stumbled upon this small world in my search for someone. The one I suspect caused all of this. Or I guess, the one who may be making the decay of this world accelerate. I was intrigued by this place's miserable fate and came to see the world to its end. I was surprised to find there was anyone left. There isn't much time for you left either. If you stay here, you too will soon be drawn into the depths of an endless chasm. You find yourself unable to stay awake for very long, isn't that right? Uh... I don't really care either way if you choose to go or not. There's someone I'd like to return to soon, so this will be our last meeting, and your last chance to escape from here. Will you leave this world? I... Go stay. Oh, we have choices here. Okay. Um, oh, let's, let's go. I, I promise I'll go back and do stay so we can see as well, but let's go for now. I'll go. I... I need to take that chance. If there's any way I can save them. Maybe. Yes. Deep in my heart. I'll make sure I hold on to their memories. There's no way I'll let myself forget. You made a wise decision. Step through this door and don't look back. Way. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Maybe you'll even get to meet her. Until then, farewell. Wow. Do we have choices here now? Can we like go back to bed or... I think I'm doing the right thing. I have a feeling my dreams and happiness will come true the moment I walk through this door. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Melody. Goodbye, Melody. Goodbye, Mum. Goodbye, Dad. I'll never forget you. Damn, okay. Animation, let's go. Oh. Ooh, by Timmy Chang. Cool. Ooh. I think. Mum and Dad wanted this for me. For me to live on towards a brighter world. Hmm. Still. I can't believe my eyes. This outside world before me. It's so beautiful. Huh, okay. 
What are we? End. Huh. That was really cool. I really liked like the pixel art game, RPG Maker game, and then the animations that it would play, like the opening animation, the animation on the TV. Awesome stuff. Cool art. Um, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try, see what happens when we stay, and then we're gonna play the sequel. Oh wait, uh, this is my second playthrough. I didn't see this last time. What's this? Huh? Where did this doll come from? This isn't my doll, but it looks familiar for some reason. Take the doll with you. Okay, yes. You took the familiar doll. Different again. Alright. Yeah, I wonder if that doll has any uh, effect on the outcome. Let's see. This time, let's stay and see what happens. I... I can't do it. Hmm. So be it. Farewell. Huh? Okay. And so, the lonely girl chose to stay in her deteriorating world. I'm sorry, Mum and Dad. I'm not the strong girl you thought I was after all. Time passed by slower and slower. Her consciousness slowly fading. She would forever dream of a beautiful world that was once just out of reach. End. Alright. I'm not sure what that doll is yet. Let's see if I can figure out what the doll is. If it has any effect on the story. Alright, so we've just gone outside. We're gonna go outside a second time. Yeah, I didn't even think of testing this. Okay. Huh? I should turn back. It's not safe. Or... We can keep exploring. Perhaps. Okay. Oh, black and white. Oh, it is an animation. Nice. Oh, broken mirror. That was really loud. <laughs> Scared me. Oh, that was an end. Okay, let's try another ending. Alright, so let's pick up the doll. Yes, you took the familiar doll. Okay. Oh, actually, there's two washing machines instead of a dryer. A washing machine. Wasn't this a dryer before? Yeah, it's changed. Strange? Okay. Now we read the parent's journal. Can we walk around here? I think we can... Yeah, we can get up here. Okay. Ooh, there's something hidden in the wilted plant. Will you take it? Obtained hidden pages. Okay. We get anywhere else? Can't go there. I. Alright, so this time we're gonna go. We have the notes in the pot plant and we have the doll. So we're gonna see what happens that's different. And I'll let you in on a secret. I've tried this like four times now. And it keeps crashing on the cinematic, so I've disabled that for now, but I'll add it in in post, if needed. Alright, let's go and see what happens. I'll go. I... I need to take that chance. If there's a way I can save them. Maybe. Yes. Deep in my heart, I'll make sure I hold onto their memories. There's no way I'll let myself forget. You've made a wise decision. Step through this door and don't look back. Let's go. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Maybe you'll even get to meet her. Until then, farewell. Huh. I think I'm doing the right thing. I have a feeling. My dreams and happiness will come true, the moment I walk through this door. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Melody. Goodbye, Mum. Goodbye, Dad. I'll never forget you. Damn. Alright, let's see. Huh? 
I think... Mom and Dad wanted this for me. For me to live on towards a brighter world. Hmm. Still, I can't believe my eyes, the outside world before me. It's so beautiful. Your hair! Looking good. End. So let's see, anything after this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> or a cat, alright. Ball of yarn. Oh, we can push it around? Let's go. I don't want to talk to her yet. Uh, let's look around first. TV? Seems like there's nothing- Oh, there's something to watch. Watch what's on the TV, yes. Hello, future me here. Uh, because I had the cinematics disabled, uh, instead of a cinematic displaying here, it just displayed, like, text describing what was happening on the TV. But I thought I would just add it in post, so... There won't be commentary for this little bit, but enjoy the cinematic, because it's pretty cool and it's quite interesting. I'll see you after it. What a shame she lost her memories. Oh well. Oh, okay. I think this might be a cinematic I can add in and post, so I'll do that. <laughs> but it's cool that it describes it if you have them disabled. Alright, let's talk at the doll. It's a familiar doll. Missing pages from the mother's journal. Would you like to read them? Okay, let's do that. I'm not sure what's going on. My husband and I have both been feeling strangely lethargic this past week. It's like no matter how much I sleep, I don't feel any more rested. It's strange how we both feel this way. Maybe there's something wrong with the mattress. My daughter seems to be more distant than usual lately as well. She seems to be shutting herself in her room more often. I'm worried about her. She's always had low self-esteem, and she always seems so ashamed of herself. I wish we could get it through her head that she can be who she wants to be. The only thing that's holding her back is herself. I know deep down, my baby girl is a shining star. Maybe sometime soon we can plan a trip to somewhere far away from here. A nice getaway where we can do some family bonding. Maybe we've all been a little distant lately. We can drive off to somewhere we've never been before. Soak in some new sights and refresh ourselves. We can try to figure out some steps we can take to help her feel better about herself. To help her grow into what she wants to be. See what we can do to help her get out of her rut. I think the fatigue is really getting to me. Maybe a small nap will help me feel better. Keep reading. Yes, so it seems like the parents have gone to this dream world as well. And we're gonna meet them. Perhaps. Keep reading, yes. Something's wrong. My husband won't wake up. No matter what I do, he won't budge. Not only that, but when I look at him, I don't know how to describe it, but he looks like he's losing his form. As time is passing, I feel like I can recognize him less and less. I'm panicking. What's going on? I'm terrified. And I think the same is happening to me as well. I can't seem to leave this room. I can't seem to find the door. This isn't normal. What's wrong with me? I think I heard a knock at the door. Is that you, my little star? I don't know what's going on, but it's getting harder and harder to keep my eyes open. It feels like I'm fading out of existence. The knocking stopped. I'll just take a small rest. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. This all just seems like a fever dream. It probably is one. I need to remember when I wake up to check on my girl. Keep reading. So it seems like, yeah, they've suffered the same sort of thing we were, right? Like we kept going back to sleep? Sleeping was our thing? <laughs> they stole my thing. Yes, keep reading. I don't know if I ever wake up or if I'm still asleep. I can't tell if time is passing or standing still. The room is so distorted. I don't think this is a hallucination. I can't find my husband. Where is he? Is he still in this room? He's not. He's not gone, is he? Is this what we're facing? Our end? My love, where are you? It hurts so much, but for some reason I can't seem to cry. Ah, I need to see my daughter. It feels like it's been ages since I've seen her. I don't know how much time has passed. Is she worried about us? Is she safe? This isn't happening to her, is it? 
I don't know what to do. I'm so worried. She must be so scared, so alone. My mind is racing and yet I can't seem to retain a thought in my head for too long. I lose it before I can even process it. Huh. Before I can no longer ride, I need to write out something for my little girl. I hope, I wish, with all my heart, this letter will make it to you. It seems like there's someone in this room with us. It's not my husband. Who is this? Maybe he can help me. Maybe. Maybe he can make sure this journal gets to her. Wow, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, pictures. Wolf girl. So I think that's going to be us, right? Based on what the TV was saying. That's our, like us in the, uh, the next life. That's us eating a nice uh, bit of meat. Us howling at the moon. Three wolf moon t-shirt. And there's us licking our lips. Very good. She seems happy. I'm glad to see things turned out okay. Interesting. What's this radio? It's a radio. It seems to be playing some of Tem's favorite music. A lot of it seems to be sung by some kind of robotic voice. It seems like there's also some vocal covers of the same songs playing. Okay. Now let's talk to this creature. Well, good job, you found the secret room. You must have some questions, right? I'm not doing anything particularly important right now, so feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Who are you? I'm Temmy, the creator of this game. I draw, illustrate, pixel animate, right now I guess. I made sound effects in-game, using a cute program, behold! Please hire me, I need work. <laughs> anyway, please ask away. Do you have any more questions? This is directly to you. Insert play name here. How did I know you were? Insert play name here. Well, I'm pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Oh my god, so many questions. Okay. Why am I a cat? Haven't you always been? <laughs> what else do you want to know? What happened to the lonely girl? It's probably confusing, right? She stepped into a new world. However, because she was influenced from the abnormalities from her decaying world, she was shifted into a demon. Oh. This is partially a premise for the game I want to make next. But that game is a much more ambitious and I don't know how long it'll take me. I hope you get to see it someday soon. Anyway, I think she prefers being this way anyway. It really is a new start for her. Also, it's very similar to what she's always wished to be anyway. It works out, kind of. Okay, cool. Who's that handsome demon man? Think of him as an anti-hero. Sort of. But he's not really a good person. I guess in this story he's okay. His character design. Yes, what about it? Did he need to be a handsome demon man? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what else do you want to know? Uh, is this all there really is to this game? That's it! Okay. Oh, is there not? I'm sorry, there's so little. This was just meant to be a test game I made to learn how the RPG Maker works, so I could make the game I actually wanted to make. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I was waiting for something to scare me, oh my god. I ended up getting attached to her story and made it longer than I intended. I felt really worried writing a story with this type of tone and themes. I really hope it doesn't upset you too much. I'm sorry if it did. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, you must be eliminated. Be gone, what? Huh? Okay, <laughs> she's gone now. There are the notes, what have I missed here? Nothing rocks. Boxes? Shoes? Okay, I guess we go back. Let's push the bull out first. Maybe the bull can come with us. Or is it not going to let it? Let's just, let's see. No, I don't think it will. Okay, let's go out. Do you really want to return to the start screen? Yeah. Alright, so... Just gonna go back, play another, do another playthrough, and just make sure I haven't missed anything. But I think we're looking pretty good. Alright, so, something I haven't tried is saying no on this doll. Because it's like the only other option I can remember. This isn't my doll, but it looks familiar for some reason. Take the doll with you. No. Something about this doll didn't resonate well with you anyway. Okay. You feel a little uneasy. Okay, so that's different. Let's go. Let's go up to the parents' bedroom and see if anything is different here. Alright. Huh. Okay, I will go in. Oh! Yes, different. Hello. Who are you? 
Angry Doll. Oh, okay. What? No, I don't know if my game's frozen or if this is like... <laughs> okay, it wasn't. Creepy. Alright. <laughs> okay. Alright, so that was Escaped Chasm. Uh, and it was a cool game. and definitely has me interested in the follow-on game, Dweller's Path. I was a big fan of the cute secret room at the end where we asked the devs some questions and learned more about the story. The room really showed a lot of personality of the developer. I thought that was really cool. Don't know why we were a cat. I think that might have been, you know, just like developer personality showing through. But as far as the story, I have a good feeling our parents also ended up in the dream world and we might meet them in the next game, especially after reading the remaining journal pages in the secret room. I'm also thinking that the character we see in the cinematic from the secret room may also be our mother. She looked pretty cool. <laughs> so keen for that. Um, yeah, and I think the she that keeps being referred to that's like doing all this mayhem is the demonic character we meet in that bad end, the one we just saw uh, after not picking up the doll, but I don't really know what her deal is. Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll find out next game. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.